a shortcut to create classical Sudoku. If you are a Sudoku lover and you would like to create a Sudoku puzzle, you like the challenge, the mental workout, then this video is for you. So you are giving a line um, by nine blank grid. You have nine rows, nine columns, and nine mini box. And your task is to create a classical Sudoku puzzle, a Sudoku puzzle that has one and, and only one solution, and two semicircular squares. Square. I use a both field or both blank. Two symmetrical squares. Um, a square at uh, row one, column three. Its symmetrical square would be row nine and column seven. Step one, uh, smart filling. Uh, you do a trick. You do group filling, and then you do a circular shift. Now notice the second row. If we shift uh, the first row by three slots, and then we fill with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, you notice that the constraints are satisfied. We do something for the third row, and we, uh, we do a um, put a uh, shift of three slots of the second row, and uh, that works. Now we do the fourth row. The first row, um, we notice if we uh, do a shift of four positions, uh, it will satisfy all the constraints. Do the same thing for the uh, fifth row, which is a uh, mm, circular shift of three slots of the fourth row. And do the same thing for the sixth row, you fill it with a uh, uh, circular shift of three slots of the fifth row. The constraints I talked here is uh, every digit appear once and only once in each row, column, and the box. Now we do a shift of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 6, 7. We do a shift of 7 positions and then we fill. Uh, of uh, six row and then put in the uh, seventh row and then for the eighth row we um, uh, do a shift of the seventh row and put into the eight, <coughs> eighth row and then for the ninth row we do a shift of three positions uh, of the eighth row and then we fill the ninth row now you see um, Using the trick, group filling and a circular shift, we successfully uh, filled the, the whole grid and uh, satisfying all the constraints. Now the second step, we do safe remover. Every time we remove two numbers from two symmetrical squares, as long as the removed numbers uh, can be inferred, it's a safe remover. Continue removing numbers from symmetrical squares. Keep doing that.
continue removing numbers from symmetrical squares. Keep doing that. Continue removing numbers from symmetrical squares. Keep doing that. Continue removing numbers from symmetrical squares. Keep doing that. Here is an example. Can we safe, safely remove 5 and 4 from uh, the marked squares? Yes, we can. Why? Because 5, for example, what other digits are taken either in row, it's in column, in its box. And then for 4, you look at uh, the 6 row, um, 4 cannot be in another blank square because the 4 is already in appeared in that uh, mini box. So 4 can only be there. Continue removing numbers from symmetrical squares. Keep doing that. Continue removing numbers from symmetrical squares. Keep doing that. Continue removing numbers from symmetrical squares. Keep doing that. Congratulations. You made a super puzzle. Look, does it make a super puzzle is has one and only one solution? And that's double check. Um, go to website www.printclassicalsuper.com and then you can include this super puzzle. Yes, the Made the logo has one and only one solution. Interested in having a free ebook of creating a classical logo puzzle? Um, go to website www.createclassicalsuper.com. You can get one from there. I welcome your comments, suggestions, and uh, uh, your new ideas of creating classical logo. Thank you for watching.